Welcome back, friends. It's Curtis Robinson running Christian the Boxer. And of course, I made this character because a good friend of mine, Christian, likes my channel. And of course, he's always talking about being a boxer and he's also on the wrestling team. He's a pretty cool dude. Needless to say, this isn't Christian. This is just a character who I renamed Christian. Um, I will tell you that right now I'm going to go and try to get the Reduvia Dagger. Not so much that I need the Reduvia Dagger uh, if I'm going to be a boxer, but it's a pretty cool, pretty cool deal. Pretty cool weapon. Um, I'm going to try to just stick to boxing here. This guy is he's pretty stinking hard. So he is uh, fast with his dagger. I got to get him close. I will get some help from my buddy Yuri. Nizuris. So all I really have to do is run in and make a few hits. And my buddy will come help. by my buddy Dean Yuri. Now, I'm gonna hit him behind. So Christian, you know what? Right? This is how Christian rolls. This is prison rules, man. You come in here with a dagger, call your friends, and I'm gonna punch you. He's drinking. Let's get my buddy on him. Alright, he bangs. Bangs. I got it with the upper effect, did you see it? And we got the Reduvia Dagger. Sweet. Pretty cool. So guys, one of the reasons that I want you guys to kind of um, understand what I'm doing here is that when you come down here, you can get, uh, make friends with the guy in here, his name is Patches. You can help use him to help you against another very tough guy Radon. Radon is a super boss. He's very tough. I have no idea I'm going to fight Radon with boxing gloves, man. He is super, super tough. Um, I might totally wimp out and go to uh, archery because I'm pretty good <laughs> keeping Radon at range. But uh, Patches can help you in that battle. All right. I'm also going to be friends with that little samurai guy that just helped. Yuri is going to help me a little bit later as well. He's a pretty good ally. All right. Let's hide. Let's, oh, let's push this. Got him. Got him. Oh, ho, ho, man. Freaking teabag this guy. All right. Um, don't need to go down that way. This is where we want to go to meet Patches. A little bit later, we're going to get an item from Patches. It's going to help me fight one of the next bosses. Margit. All right, so I'm gonna try to, it's gonna be hard, I'm gonna try to stick to, uh, how am I doing on, it's gonna be pretty good. All right, and I'm gonna try to stick to uh, boxing with this guy, Patches. He uses a, uh, a spear and a shield. Not an easy guy for me to fight with boxing gloves. He's definitely got the reach advantage. And he can spray this spit on me. The key thing is, run. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. I missed it. Jump. Oh, he got me. Got me. Don't want to kill Tyson. Why flag at all? Once you beat the snot out of him, he surrenders, which is pretty smart because I was going to kick his butt anyway. Talk to Patches. I knew you would. You're a man of reason. You're a man of reason. Who went through? Ah, well, what do you know? Now, how did I took you for a demi human? An innocent Yeah, do I look like a demi human? No. Water under the bridge. I want to be my friend. I'm Patches, tarnished like you, only for now. 
In exchange for He's basically in charge well, of all the bandits. He's a turd. Show it honestly, frankly. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel. <laughs> But you do need the occasional, no you know, I'll thug to back to. you up. So uh, that's what this guy does. No All right, to. I'll be ready exhaust to. his dialogue, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip on out, come back and talk to him. Hopefully, I've got enough money. I need five grand to get Margaret's shackle. Let's see what we have here. Stick with me, friends. If you don't get the shackle, uh, you can still beat Margaret. But if you get the shackle, which is pretty cool then you can lock Margaret down twice as long as it doesn't get beyond 50% of his life. If he gets beyond 50% of his life, you know, like you beat him up halfway, then Margaret's shackle stops working for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is. But we're going to be using Margaret's shackle, I promise you that. I'm, you can't beat this guy. Friggin' bop, 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 bop. Give you the left, give you the right. Little jab, little hook, little cross. That's what I'm talking about right there. Alright, go back and talk to Patches. Now he will sell us. Well, nice of you to all be Welcome. We well, won't need Shackle. a refund. Alright. Nice successes. Yeah. Now they're all I first. Mean, they are. They're all foots worked. <sighs> You don't need to open a chest. There's nothing Just in the something I'm saying. It actually needs a teleporter. Teleport, to, teleport you to a different place. Where I don't really want to go. Okay. This is what we want. Margaret's shackle briefly binds Margaret. Once imprisoned, it sticks him to the ground. I like it. I got six grand. Best five grand I've ever spent. Cheers for that. Cheers for that. All right, I just got one more short thing we're gonna do. We're gonna to talk to Yura, and then we're going to go and get, we're gonna go a, uh, into a catacomb, and we're going to get the Banished Knight, uh, Ash of War, Banished Knight, in ball. Back to my horse. Yeah, you, yeah. Okay. By the way, a little shout out to my son, Caleb. So Caleb and Christian are good friends. Uh, I think we were both in the ninth grade. Caleb is the one that got me interested in Elden Ring. Um, Caleb is a very different player. He is a hack and slash monster. He does not have a whole lot of strategy oh, like I do. Meet again. To and live and but he is a great player. As you might recall, Tarnished. You stay the path, just remember. Don't mean your emotion. The so, way, pretty cool guy. I'm ultimately going to uh, help him a, a couple of a couple of his missions and a couple of his tasks. And so forth. All right. This is going to be a little bit of a longer um, video than the last one. We're going to try to clear this entire catacomb. Because I want Vintage Knight Ingvall's Spirit Ash. So we can call him. It's a little bit better than the dogs or the jellyfish. You guys remember the dogs and the jellyfish that I called to help me before? Early in the game, Banish Knight Ball is pretty sick and good. I will keep him right up until I get the Mimic tier. Okay. This is going to be interesting. If I stick to boxing, I'm going to get beat up pretty good. But I should be okay. If I remember correctly, there's a guy. One of these right here to this side. Let's get him. Let's beat his butt. He's got a friend sticking to the stinking wall. Nope, here, there's the guy on the ceiling, and there's the next guy coming. I don't really want to fight both at the same time. Let's get him a little bit lured in. And then... Oh, man. Ran up and punched him. What was he trying to hit me with? Freaking... They had like a little axe or a sickle of some sort. All right, let's get him off the wall. And... Death. All right, so those little grave glove warts will help your other 
um, ashes be better. We want the ghost glove wart. The grave glove warts are for the best basic ones, which could include the um, could include the the wolves or the jellyfish. I don't want to go get these guys. That's why I'm shooting here. There's a little trap. I don't know if you can see it. About 10 or 15 feet in front of me. Oops. You did. I'm not. Okay. Let's go back to punching. See, this is a trap. Watch. Now, you can use that to your advantage. The bad guys, if they're coming after you, I think there might be one more bad guy in here. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I'm just going to run on in there. Aha! I feel like he's in there. Oh, he did get me. Twice. I think my sneeze threw me off. I wasn't ready. It's all good. Pull the lever, crunk. By the way, that red bar is my blood loss. If it fills up, I take a super huge loss in hit points or health. So you don't want to do that. You have to be careful. My um, Cestus also does blood loss, which is pretty cool. All right, two more dudes. Eh. I'm just going to block this one here and we're going to fight the other one. Mono e mono. Yeah, two on one I can handle in some cases. Actually, there's just going to be two on one anyways. I think there's another dude in there. Let's just run past. I knew it. Christian wins. KO. Oh yeah. Let's pick up that. Ghost Glove Ward. That makes our dude better. Alright. Now we're gonna have to get in here and do some magic. Alright, what do I want to do? Let's go with, what do you guys think? Let's go with this guy. I think it'll work. Now I do have some fire I can use. Make sure my gloves are on, they are. All right, we're gonna get the jellyfish out. It'll squirt poison on people, which is pretty cool. This guy's really tough. Can't just Run up. Oh, I thought I could roll under, but I didn't do it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Hey, I'm not doing well. Save me, jellyfish. All right, let's go to this. Do the heal. In the back. Ooh, that was critical. Come after me. Let's break him. Jellyfish guy. Bail out of here. And that's going to be it for the moment, guys. Uh, we'll be using Banished Knight Ingball along and along. He's way better than the jellyfish and way better than the dogs. <clears throat> He's kind of a special. So we're going to teleport away and do a little bit of leveling up. I'll catch you guys soon. Be sure to subscribe, pass the word, like and share, and uh, tell if you like, tell a couple people about this particular character. I try to make it humorous and enjoyable, but ultimately I'm going to teach you how to play Elden Ring if you stick with me. Take care.